welcome back guys this is a very short tutorial it's not related to the viper uh, architecture specific but then i thought it might make sense some for for some of the uh, developers who have this uh, usage in some scenarios where they have to let's say collapse some um, an image at the top whenever you're scrolling a table view so in this case if you see that uh, that uh, this is one of the implementation which I have already completed for um, a navigation uh, like from using the router from the home screen to the listing screen that is a different uh, a different tutorial altogether which I am bringing up pretty soon but then before that I thought maybe have this short tutorial where I just wanted to show you how you can actually collapse the top this is my cover picture it will only make sense when let's say you're loading your screen after that maybe once you start scrolling then maybe it's, it's a good idea that we actually collapse this and then use that uh, screen space for showing the listing so that's the idea here so maybe i can just show you quickly like how you can do that so for that uh, it it uses we will be using um, the auto layouts height constraint and uh, the scroll feature of the table view that's the uh, two things we'll be using there so for that let's start with basic things so let me just include the height constraint in the code right now let me just call that as height cover height constraint that's the constraint we'll be playing with. So that I'm just including th that as an outlet. So that's already there. And then we already have uh, the table view implementation. This is the same table view which we had in the previous episode, the earlier one of the episodes where we were loading it in the home screen. And then later we decided to have a tiled view of categories in the table in the home screen so i have just moved it to a groceries list view controller for the time's sake but don't worry this this tutorial the whole tutorial is coming again uh, in a future episode maybe in a couple of days but then before that uh, i just wanted to show you this because i might not be covering this specific thing in detail in the coming episode and whoever does not have the code access might not understand how it is working so i just wanted to show you here so for scrolling we'll be using because ui table view delegate itself is coming with the uh, scroll view delegate so we can just include that as uh, so we can just include that uh, table view uh, scroll view did scroll view did uh, scroll that we can include so this is specific to table view scrolling so let's just print and see what we get when you scroll start scrolling scroll view offset that's what we will capture offset dot y value that's what we will capture so let's see what happens when we start scrolling We keep the print visible clear everything let's just go to fruit section so everything is loaded as soon as we start scrolling you can see that uh, the scroll starts from zero and then keeps increasing whenever we keep uh, scrolling so it, it reaches more than like uh, 250 300 we just can start uh, hiding this because as soon as we start scrolling we can start hiding this the whole cover picture and as soon as soon as it crosses let's say the height of this uh, hole uh, which is like around 200 250 along with this because once we start scrolling it is going to 
remove this top uh, navigation uh, large title and become small title so that will actually like use up around uh, 50 pixels so that can also that also we need to handle along with this cover pictures height which is right now to kept at 200 that's what i kept as the height constraint so that's what we'll do we, as soon as we start scrolling we will keep an keep a, a previous value and the current value of and then reduce it the previous value offset current value offset reduce that value and uh, use that to set the height of the constraint so let's do that so we know the current whenever we scroll this keeps increasing and whenever we scroll down it it decreases so let's keep a variable to capture the uh, the previous value of the constraint okay let's keep it closer to this where previous offset state of type float and cg float let's initialize it to zero so let's use this to get the difference offset difference equal to let's say the previous value minus the current value so we have the difference right now and also we as soon as that is used we can reset the previous offset value to the current one so that we we retain it for the next scroll so that's also captured right now we have so that's what we do previous value minus the current value and pre reset the previous value to the current one and then find the uh, use that to set the height so the height will be so constraint height is equal to the existing height constraint so that is a cover height constraint dot uh, constraint value and uh, add the offset difference to it so this will be our new constraint so before even doing anything let's do one thing let's start printing the previous the current and everything and see how it works so current offset current offset previous offset and finally let's also track the difference offset difference Okay, let's print and see and understand what's going on. Okay, we don't have anything. We scroll, it starts to print. So we have the current offset of 69.33, previous being 69, and offset difference being a negative value. So that means we are scrolling up and uh, the offset difference is in a negative state. So whenever we do that, we uh, this value is decreasing, then the constraint height keeps decreasing. So once we set that, it'll, it will start collapsing our top uh, cover picture. And once we start scrolling down, the reverse happens. It becomes a positive value and then it will start uh, setting that uh, to this. The constraint value will be set to a greater, a greater than zero value. So all we are interested in is to capture the maximum value. Let's say if, if uh, the scroll value 
is greater than in my case i have the constraint height as 200 plus i i also need to handle the top uh, navigation large navigation bar height which i'll just keep it as 50 or something so that also i need to handle so that i'll just use it here plus this if this plus this is greater than um this if the content offset is greater than 200 uh, binary operator okay this this is an cg float again I'll keep it as cg float so if this is greater than 250 then in that case we the offset is like uh, we have already scrolled too much and at that point we don't need uh, to have this uh, top cover picture so at that point we can always set this uh, height constraint of this cover picture to zero so until it is greater than greater than 250 we can do that once it gets becoming less than 250 that's when we need to slowly start resetting the cover picture height con constant so that's what we have done here should be set it to the the constraint height which we have a new constraint let's call it new new height so it's using the earlier height on each scroll whatever is being set it, we use that plus the offset difference which is like we are capturing the previous offset and keeping its state and whenever that change happens it it will keep resetting the new height so i guess that's pretty much what we will require here to do that uh, scrolling feature let's check that it's a pretty simple tutorial but i just wanted to cover this so that we don't uh, miss this out if if you're let's say interested in this one and i don't cover this starts crawling it starts collapsing and if it is more than 250 it does not appear and as soon as we start collapsing it slowly it comes back so once it is less than 250 it like it works like this now you have that uh, real estate to actually see more of these uh, groceries instead of showing the, the cover picture all the time and the details of it so that's what i wanted to cover in this one maybe this one was useful for this for you and uh, if you have any comments come back to the comment section and uh, leave your feedback subscribe and uh, hit on the bell icon i i heard if you want all the uh, notifications about my channel then you need to do that you please do that if you need to get notifications and if you need code access you need to go to a patron site and then access it from there so until the big next episode which is on routing and uh, many other things where i'm planning to have let's say uh, this is the routing which i have already implemented in this one but then i want to explain it in the next tutorial and also I, i'm planning to implement something i don't have the uh, weight price detail the SKU related to this uh, in this page itself but I'm planning to have it let's say on on tap of this uh, cell it just loads up from the bottom like a view and then from there you can choose the weight and the specific price and then add to cart from there so that's another implementation I'm thinking of uh, which is actually which will make it in more interesting when it is being implemented in Viper because it's more more like a model view appearing from the bottom and then you choose it and which is actually a totally different view from whatever we have loaded here so that kind of depend dependency injection i can show you there so until the next episode it's bye from me